Hey everyone, Reflected here, and today I'd like to answer another recurring comment about DCS campaigns. I've seen this in the past years many times, not aimed at my campaigns only, but others too. And it's something along the lines of, I spent hours on this campaign but it sucks, it doesn't work, a bug is preventing me from progressing, it's a waste of time and I'll never buy any campaigns again. It's heartbreaking to read comments like this and to think that most people who come to the same conclusion probably don't even bother leaving a comment, so it's gotta be the tip of the iceberg only. That's why I feel it's important to address such comments, because there may be some easy fixes, so listen carefully. The first thing to consider is the distinct possibility that the campaign actually sucks. It is a possibility. Maybe it's poorly designed, but in this case, feedback to the developer is always welcome so we can learn how to improve them. Also, have you ever read a book that sucked? Did that make you stop buying books altogether? No. There are many different books by different authors. Some you may not like, some others you'll love. There's one thing to keep in mind here. These missions were tested and flown dozens if not hundreds of times before they were released. If there's an obvious bug in the middle, chances are the designer would have noticed it too. The problem is that nobody flies a mission the same way. The developer knows exactly what needs to be done, but the player will always deviate a bit. If a mission is flown 100% precisely, it will never break, but is it fair to expect that from the player? It's the developer's job to give clear instructions and account for a reasonable amount of deviation. Emphasis on reasonable and make sure the mission still progresses. Maybe the developer didn't allow enough leeway. It's just really hard to foresee every possible way the player may misunderstand the task, so we can't prepare for every scenario. One of the hardest parts of making a good campaign is making sure that the player knows exactly what is expected of them, even though they've never played the mission. This is another reason why feedback is always welcome. This brings us to the second possibility. You suck. Okay, that sounded harsh, sorry, but I've also been there and done that while playing other people's campaigns. I sucked! So it's definitely a possibility that the mission would have worked perfectly if you hadn't messed up without even realizing you messed up. If you think about instant action, air start or free flight missions, there's not much to mess up there. You spawn, aim, shoot, repeat. Easy. Campaign missions, however, are at the opposite end of the scale. The way I design most of my campaigns is to create a study level environment for the study level modules. If you jump into the DCS Viper, for example, instead of an arcade game, you don't complain that you need to learn how to operate all those systems and switches, right? That's why you're here. Same thing with campaigns. If you choose a campaign mission instead of an air start instant action, you shouldn't be surprised or complain that it requires a lot of effort and preparation, just like in the real-life missions they recreate. You need to study the briefings, maps, routes, roles, execute the task precisely, follow timings, shed loads of procedures, etc. That's the reality of military aviation. Campaign missions are the ultimate simulations of being there. However, looking at some YouTube playthroughs, some people don't realize this and try to John Wayne their way through these complex missions. Of course they won't work, just like this attitude will not work in real life either. It's okay, we all want to be John Wayne sometimes, but there are other kinds of missions for just that. Rule of thumb is, if a campaign has been out for months or years and you encounter a show-stopping bug in the middle, people would probably have noticed it already. Look around on the forums and if this hasn't been brought up, chances are you messed up somewhere. You can ask for help there from other players or the developers too. The third possibility is that there's nothing wrong with you nor the mission, but the problem lies within the core of DCS. Some people seem to think that campaigns are new games written from scratch, but no, they're DCS. Elements of DCS orchestrated together to create an experience but still, DCS. We have the same access to DCS as you, through the mission editor. 
What you can't fix in DCS, we can't fix either. If clouds are green in DCS, they will be green in the campaign too. If some sort of bug makes DCS crash all the time, the campaign will crash too. If the AI flies erratically in DCS, it will fly erratically in the campaign too. If the AI turns sideways on the runway and crashes into a hangar, it will do that in the campaign as well. I couldn't make it do such things in my campaigns exclusively, even if I wanted to. Sometimes I'm like, dude, is my campaign really the first time you ever played DCS? Okay, it's only fair to mention that you'll see some of these bugs in campaigns for the first time because they use so many different aspects of DCS. They have their roots so deep in the core code and features. In a simple instant action mission, there are less things that can break, of course. DCS is constantly evolving, but this also means that the foundation we build our campaigns on is always changing. If a bug makes it into open beta, we, or you, can report it to ED. And I also look at the mission to see if I can implement some sort of workaround. In order to fix a bug, ED will ask for a track showing the issue, preferably in a simple mission. This is pretty time consuming to replicate, and often there are the players on one side reporting these bugs, and ED on the other side asking for a track, and both sides are right. But us campaign makers can easily end up being tennis balls between the two sides, losing a huge amount of precious mission building time. So, if you can report the issue in the AI subforum, not the campaign subforum, only I'm watching those, or even post a track, it would be a huge help. But it's just the nature of open beta. If you're quite allergic to bugs, I recommend you switch to the stable version. These are usually hunted down and ironed out by the time it makes it into stable, but of course, you'll get all the new stuff later too. And the fourth possibility is something I already talked about. I dedicated an entire video to the subject recently. Check it out for more details. Any kind of unofficial mod may or may not break any core DCS functionality or module, and consequently, campaigns too. Before you hit caps lock and start typing some butthurt comment, you're barking up the wrong tree. I'm not telling you not to use mods. I'm telling you that as long as you have mods, there's no guarantee for anything anymore. So please don't pull the fire alarm before you verify that the bug still happens after you removed all mods and ran a repair on your DCS install. But again, I get it. Campaign missions are inherently long, require a lot of time and effort, and failing in the middle, especially if it's not your fault, can be really frustrating. But I think this is exactly what makes them so much fun too. You invest so much of your time and energy into flying the mission that you'll start to fear for your virtual life and that makes you act more realistically and the whole experience will become so much more immersive. There's two sides to every coin. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. I hope this video helped you get through some of these speed bumps you hit and also helped you understand how campaigns work. Please subscribe and ring the bell for more updates and tutorials. See ya!